while quoting sales to people. What knowledge do we give them? We give them tremendous knowledge about our products, about our company. And we think so, that's okay. We try to give them some knowledge of how to sell, but what is existing today out there is a little bit appalling. Basically, we are trying to pump them to use their intuition and to have some key questions. That's not enough. Basically, if you want to support your sales force, you have to do two things. One is, you have to provide marketing. You cannot really put on the shoulders of individual salesmen to do the marketing as well. Remember the difference between marketing and sales? Marketing is spreading the cones for the ducks to come. Sales is shooting a sitting duck. And if the duck is not there, or flying all over the map, it's definitely a marketing problem. You have to supply excellent marketing. The second thing is, teach the salesman how to shoot. Don't teach him so much about the bullets and how they are produced in the gun, for the gun. How the hell to shoot. Which means you have to teach the salesman exactly what is the current reality tree of his market. What is the way to offer the solution? What are the obstacles that most likely the customer has and how he can help the customer to overcome the obstacles? And if you don't do all this process, you can complain that they don't know how to sell. The one of thousands, they are doing it intuitively. It doesn't mean also that if you provide the process, so their performance will not jump. It will. Two main core problems here. One is we don't do marketing. Many of us think that marketing is advertisement period. By the way, we started to understand better what is marketing, provide the qualified names. Okay? That's the function of marketing. Moreover, provide now the marketing into the market so that much more qualified names will come to you with minimum effort and much better qualification. Okay? That's the job of marketing and you have to do it as a company. The second one is you as company have to do the analysis of your market, the current quality of the market, the core problems thereof, what is the offer aimed to them, how to present it not as an offer but as a solution, what are the likely obstacles that the salesman is going to find and how to overcome them. That's what should be the sales process. That's what we have to teach them. And then make sure, for heaven's sake, that all of production can support exactly what the salesperson had promised. Because otherwise you ruin drastically the reliability of your company and the whole spiral down starts. Make sure that never ever a salesman will be forced in order to close the sale to promise something that your production will not deliver. Never ever. Hey, this is Dr. Lisa. I hope you enjoyed that blast from the past. And if you want to hear more of that kind of thing, leave me a comment below. And if you're interested in learning how you can uh, do analysis on your customer and gain some of the understanding that Dr. Goldratt talked about, check out mafiaoffers.com.